Hey, 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 happy day. Make a silk purse out of a sow's ear. What the heck? How can I use that to grow and supersize my business? What does it even mean? A sow, of course, is a grown up female pig. Have you seen their ears? Kind of big, kind of ugly, kind of floppy, depending on the variety of pig. Some of them are downright ugly. How are you gonna turn that into a silk purse or something? How are you gonna take something ugly or seemingly worthless? Now, I doubt that the sow would think that her ear is worthless, but how are you gonna take something that's probably of little value or no value and turn that into something beautiful, something good, something amazing? Now, we're all faced in our businesses with challenges and situations where things seem like they really stink and they're not going our way or that a bad situation comes up. And that's, that's when we get to shine. That's when we get to show the world what we're made of. Almost every business that's ever been created has been created to solve a problem or fill a need of people. And it's usually because they're having a problem. Something bad's going on in their life and we create a solution and provide them that solution. That's why our businesses exist, right? If your business doesn't solve a problem for a group of people, I challenge you to ask yourself, how can you change that? How can you take what it is that you're doing and, and target it so that you are absolutely positively solving a problem for some group of people? That's a topic for another day. Making a silk purse out of a sow's ear. What does this remind me of? Now, in my corporate career, a lot of what I was involved in doing was being a change agent, changing bad situations to good situations, or making sure that I prevented bad situations from happening for the organization that I worked for. Um, I actually inherited an entire division, the sanitation division of an industrial bakery. I, I started out as the quality director, vice president, and within about a month, I think I inherited an entire problem child for this particular organization. And it was my job and my challenge to take that struggling department, that struggling division and turn it into something good, something awesome. And fortunately for me, that's my thing. I was good at it and I did that and I made that happen. But it wasn't really easy because it had a lot of history with it. It had a lot of of challenges and problems and a lot of um, beliefs about itself as a department and as a division that needed to change in order for it to not be seen as the ugly stepchild of the organization and an absolutely integral part and parcel in terms of that organization being successful or not. Because without the sanitation division, without the, um, the people that took care of making sure things were clean and sanitary and compliance in a food related business, you got nothing because all you need to do is make one person sick and you're out of business. So that's an example of how you take a sow's ear and turn it into a silk purse. How you take a, a difficult, challenging situation and turn it into something good. We're faced with that all the time. We do that all the time in our personal lives and in our businesses. And actually, many of our businesses only exist because that's what we do. We take difficult, challenging, ugly, bad situations and we turn them into good situations. We turn them into something good. We help people transition their lives or their business. We help them solve their problems. And that is always taking a sow's ear and turning it into a silk purse. So that's making a silk purse out of a sow's ear. That is, I think, the reason that most of our businesses even exist. I would love if you would share in the comments below how you make a silk purse out of a sow's ear in your business. Hint, hint, what is it that you do for people? How do you solve people's problems? What solution do you have that you provide for the people that you serve? Because the better we serve people, the more we give them, the better we help them solve their problems, the better and faster our business grows. That's it. Go out, make it an awesome day. I will, of course, be with you tomorrow.